Warning, you will not actually learn anything from this video. Salutations! My name is Nedry Flanderbottom, but you can just call me Ned. And welcome to another episode of Education with Ned. The series where I attempt to educate the youth by having my friends perform skits in front of a green screen. We all have our favorite fast food spots. McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King... Pizza Hut! Yes, Billy, Pizza Hut too. But have you ever stopped to wonder how your favorite fast food spot came to be? Not really. I just like to eat. I wasn't talking to you, Billy. I was talking to the audience. Oh, okay. When do we eat? You aren't eating anything. Just be quiet so I can finish my opening monologue. Okay. Fast food has a very interesting and complex history in America. And today, we're going to dive into where fast food came from and how it evolved over the years. I can't wait! This is going to be so much fun! Why are you here? Aren't I usually paired up with Evan for these videos? Well, Billy really wanted to be the lead of this video for some reason. My role as leading man was taken from me! Oh, please, Evan. You never were the leading man. It was always me. But now, it's me! Fellas, this is education with Ned. None of you are the leading man. I am. <laughs> yeah, right. No one watches these videos for you, Ned. Yeah, they all come to see our shenanigans. That's not true. They come here to learn. And today, you guys are going to learn about the history of the fast food industry. Let's begin. The first fast food location. In the year 1921, the first fast food restaurant opened in Kansas. This spot was called White Castle, and it's actually a fast food chain that's still open today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Richard and Billy, welcome to White Castle, the place where you can get a burger in just a few short minutes. Whoa, a few minutes? Richard, do you have any money? I want to buy a burger. No, Billy, I'm not giving you any money. Exactly, Richard. That's how the general public viewed White Castle at first, too. At the time, most people actually did not like burgers because they were considered cheap, low-quality fairground food. Oh, well, I just said no because we're standing in front of a green screen and there's no real burger restaurant here. Stop, Richard! You're ruining the illusion! So wait a second, if people don't like burgers, how did White Castle survive? Well, the restaurant had to change the way burgers were viewed. So they gave people an open view of the kitchen. That way people could watch their burgers being cooked and see that it was high quality stuff. Check it out, now you can see our cooks cooking your burgers. Look Richard, you can see them actually making the burgers. Can you buy me some now? No, Billy. White Castle also painted their buildings white. That way it made the restaurant feel clean to most customers. And now our building is white, which means our restaurant is clean. <laughs> Trust me. Now do you guys want our burgers? Yes, I've wanted them from the start. No. The birth of McDonald's. Years and years have gone by, and fast food is still not popular amongst families. That is, until the 1940s, when two brothers, Richard and Maurice McDonald, opened up a new burger joint called, you guessed it, McDonald's. Well, Maurice, business is booming. <laughs> yes, it is, brother. We've already made $200,000 this year. Wait, what? That's not a lot. Actually, adjusted for inflation, $200,000 from back then would equate to about $3.5 million today. Oh my gosh! That is a lot! <laughs> We're filthy rich! And we could make even more money if we completely redid our kitchen. That way burgers are constantly being made. <gasps> more money, you say? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's tear down this old restaurant and build a new one with a better kitchen. And that's exactly what the brothers did. They redesigned their kitchens to maximize efficiency. 
This way now, when customers order their burgers, they receive it in seconds. Seconds? Oh, what happened to minutes? Richard, we gotta buy a burger now. No, Billy. But we can get it in seconds. Come on, boys. We want your business. What don't you guys understand about the fact that we are standing in front of a green screen? There's no McDonald's back here. But if I reach back, I can almost feel the burgers. Oh, never mind. Fine, we don't need your business anyway. We've got plenty of customers. The McDonald's business was booming and the McDonald's brothers were making a ton of money. But then one day, a man named Ray Kroc paid their establishment a little visit and everything changed forever. So, nice place you got here, dudes. I want it. No, this is our restaurant. Get your own. Yeah, sorry, partner. I don't think we really need your help. But I can help you grow your business beyond your wildest dreams. Beyond our wildest dreams? You got a deal, buddy. I don't feel good about this. Ray Kroc shook hands with the McDonald's brothers and off he went building new McDonald's locations all across America. Oh yeah, and we all made a boatload of cash and we lived happily ever after, right? Nope, Ray Kroc made millions, but the poor McDonald's brothers only got 1% of their business's cash. 1%? We got scammed. I told you it was a bad idea. <laughs> Suckers. Now I'm filthy rich. The McDonald's brothers sold their company to Ray Kroc in 1961 for $2.6 million. And the McDonald's company continued to grow into the world's most popular eating establishment. But tough competition was starting to present itself all across the country. Fast food competitors. Throughout the 1950s and 60s, dozens of other fast food restaurants opened up across the country. In 1952, Colonel Harlan Sanders opened the first Kentucky Fried Chicken. Come eat some chicken! It's finger licking good! Oh boy! I could go for some chicken! <laughs> In 1957, Burger King opens. Forget about chicken! Come eat a bugle at Bugle King! Have it your way. Burgers? I could go for a burger. <laughs> In 1958, two brothers from Kansas opened up a pizza spot called Pizza Hut. Forget about burgers. Come get some pizza at Pizza Hut. No one can out pizza the hut. Pizza Hut? <laughs> Man, I'm getting tired from running around everywhere. Well, why run when you can drive? Now, people didn't need to step foot in a restaurant anymore. You could order from your car, get the food delivered to your car, and then eat the food in your car. That was the convenience of the drive through window. This is the best day of my life. I never go to restaurants. I only ever use the drive through Exactly, Richard. You and the rest of America. The drive through window is what made fast food restaurants so popular. And by the end of the 1970s, there were over 60,000 fast food locations. Jeez, man, there's so many options. We've got chicken. We've got donuts. We've got burgers. We've got pizza. We've got subs. I don't know what to pick. Oh, if you think that's bad, Billy, just wait until you hear what's next. Fast food across the world. By the 1980s and 1990s, the fast food industry in America became so overpopulated. Now, fast food restaurant chains were looking to expand outside of America. Wait, so you're telling me I can travel anywhere in the world and get Pizza Hut? Pretty much. Yay! Let's go to Wisconsin! Billy, that's a state in the United States of America. Oh, do they have Pizza Hut? Most likely, yeah. Then let's go! Hold your horses, Billy, because after America's fast food chain spread across the world, other countries wanted to bring their fast food chains to America. Wait, wait, more fast food places? Don't we already have enough, man? No, Richard, we need more. 
Well, you're in luck, Billy, because some of those other countries' fast food restaurants are already in America, such as Pollo Comparo from Guatemala and Jollibee from the Philippines. Oh my gosh! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go try these new places! <laughs> oh! I told you it was a green screen. I'm going to Taco Bell. Oh man! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you learned something new. Comment down below what your favorite fast food restaurant is. I really want to know. My personal favorite is Subway. Ew, even I don't like Subway. Oh, come on, Billy. Subway is delicious. <laughs> Bye.